That's my favorite thing about, you know, we don't call them vendors, we call them sponsors, we call them people, but usually behind an entrepreneur is someone who's super passionate about solving problems. We're all part of those companies. And we're using technology typically to solve those. And usually our te technology drives outcomes. So but, uh, let's move on to a few of my other friends. Aaron Thompson, general partner, customer success practices at Success Hacker. Josh Lowey, founder and CEO of Hugo. Let's give it up. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Seriously, give it up, he said. That's not giving it up. Come on. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Come on. It's Tuesday afternoon. It's dark in here. We're all tired. We didn't even sing happy birthday from what I could tell, but whatever. <laughs> we'll go with it, right? Uh, welcome, everyone. My name is Aaron Thompson. I am from Success Hacker. This is Josh Lowy, my partner from Hugo. And I got to be honest with you, I've been waiting for this 15 minutes a really, really long time. Uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, thank you to Client Success for such an amazing conference. Uh, thank you to Robert Redford, I suppose, for like making this place in the first place. Like, how cool is this, right? This place is the best. Um, so we are here to talk to you, let's see, about success, the success plan canvas. And I know what you're thinking, all right. Innovation award, success plans aren't new, but I'd like to sort of keep your minds open for a moment, okay? So raise your hand if you've ever implemented or tried to implement a success plan in your organization. What do we got? Quite a few of you. Leave your hand up. I didn't say put them down. This is like Simon says, right? Uh, leave your hand up if it was successful and you're still using it today. Okay? And leave your hand up if it's so successful that you don't think there's any improvement. There's no way to improve it. Ah, there we are. All right. So historically, success plans have been around for a while. But unfortunately, they've ended up being, a lot of the time, a checkbox that your sales team has to do to get their commission. It ends up being a... Uh, like a copy-paste exercise for your CSMs, yet it's this amazing opportunity that we have to drive the lifetime value higher than we could otherwise, and yet they just kind of die on the vine. And why is that? Why, why do they die on the vine? Well, what we've found is an opportunity to drive net retention over 100%, save two hours a day per CSM, and, and create organizational alignment at the leadership level like you've never seen before. Okay, let me back up. A customer's journey is a lot like a road trip, and the customer success manager is a lot like the navigator. The success plan is that map in that CSM's hands. Meanwhile, the customer's driving the car and needs to know how to drive it, where to drive it, what to expect, what's coming next. I want to get from point A to point B. We have a plan to get there. And all the while, we've got the business down there trying to support the whole effort. Without a plan, without an effective success plan, it's like a road trip without a map. And what happens is extreme misalignment, and your CSMs get to herd cats. The only way we can get everybody going in the same direction is to do the best we can because we don't have a prescriptive, predefined plan on how we're getting from point A to point B. They end up spending, whoops, there we go. They end up spending a third of their time in this reactive firefighting mode. Luckily, they're heroes, right? Thank goodness they take on this hero mentality because ultimately, that's the only way we get anything accomplished sometimes in our organizations, especially when we're new. Everybody seen this before? Does this ring any bells? No? Yes? Maybe? Okay. What this is, is the definition of customer success, according to a lot of people in our domain. Customer success can come down to this formula. It is the customer's desired outcome plus the customer's desired experience. It is their definition of success and a success plan lives squarely in the middle. In today's market, we have an amazing ability to track the what of customer success. Client success is an amazingly effective tool at tracking what the customer's dashboard looks like, what the customer's health looks like, and all sorts of, uh, like last year, Boaz won this contest with the Customer Maturity Index. An amazing idea. I use it in my practice all the time. 
but it's still about the what, not the how. A customer success plan, a success plan is the how of effective customer success management. Well, if that's the case, then why don't more people use it? We saw all those hands go down. Not everybody even put them up in the first place. And then as we continued to pull the group, every hand went down in the room. Why is that? First of all, where do you even begin? If you're going to build a success plan from scratch, there are so many unknowns. Who should be involved? What should be in it? Why? Who do I need internally? And I certainly need my customer externally, don't I? Because it's their definition of success after all. That becomes an incredibly time-consuming effort. Anybody got more time than they know what to do with? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> One. Oh, that's amazing. Let's talk. Uh, I, I, I know I have more, uh, more to do than I have time to do it, just like everyone else in here. And so when I don't know exactly how to get started, I know it's going to take a lot of time. Oftentimes, I just won't even do it. Or at the very least, I won't do it very well, and I'll do the best that I can. So what we decided to do is sit down and figure out how can we fix this problem. If success plans are so vital to customer success management, how can we as a, as a partnership create something that will alleviate this pain point for all of you? In short, it's the success plan canvas. The success plan canvas is a one-page uh, snapshot that has all of your customers' desired outcomes defined and documented. And not only does it have that, it has all the steps it'll take to get there. It's easily consumable, easily shared both internally and externally. In short, we've got our roadmap, people. Customer success family, we've got our roadmap. There it is. When implemented, this is proven to decrease the reactive time necessary for CSMs by 50%. That provides them more time to be strategic on the revenue-focused activities that we want them to be working on, retention, expansion, advocacy, customer marketing. If we want to be big boys in the revenue table with sales and marketing, we need to find every single way that we can have our CSMs being proactive and strategic, not reactive and tactical. All right, prove it. Proof is in the pudding, right? At Success Hacker, we have been teaching this for four years to over 200 CSMs. That canvas that you just saw, the methodology and the strategy behind it, how to fill it out, how to use it, how to implement it. And we've seen some incredible outcomes from this. Wendy has driven net retention over 100% after implementing the canvas. SEM Rush has saved their CSMs two hours per day per CSM because now there's a place for their whole organization to go and see what are the next steps. What's the status of this? Where are we going? What's the roadmap look like, right? And then finally, Chad, are you in here? Woot, woot, there he is. Chad has created organizational alignment at his leadership level like he's never experienced before at Whitetronics. So what's next? Where do we go from here? We've been teaching it. It's been effective. It's proven. But as you could imagine, a PDF, a PowerPoint, a strategy is difficult to scale. That was the next hurdle for us to overcome to be able to bring this to you today. And this is why I'm so excited. We have, in short, done that. And I'd like to introduce you to Hugo, and I'll let Josh <coughs> take it from here. Oh, yeah, you need this too. Yeah. No way, man, I like it. Hey, everyone. I'm Josh. I'm one of the co-founders and CEO of Hugo. I'm going to pause quickly and just so this all makes sense to you, quickly explain and give you the context behind what Hugo is. Hugo, we build team collaboration software for meetings. We help CSMs make the insights that they're generating in customer conversations and the decisions that they're making shareable across the organization, whether people are not in the room or maybe even on a different time zone, and actionable in the tools that those teams are using every day. 
the way that we do this is we integrate the tools that everyone else is using, you know, CRM like Salesforce, a uh, tool like for engineering like Jira, or maybe even Asana for marketing. We bring that into the note-taking experience, so that's really easy to turn insights into action. Now, what this means for CSMs and CS teams in general is that for the first time, they have a single place where they can store all of the qualitative insights that they're generating in customer conversations. They're able to put that knowledge in a place where the rest of the organization can access it or have it shared with them, even though they may all be using different individual tools. And they're also able to take those insights and transform them into units of work that can be consumed by other teams, such as an engineering ticket in Jira or a Trello card that's a feature request for product. A lot of this is what was actually touched on this morning. How do we take the qualitative information and use that that's being generated by our CSMs to close that gap between what the customer's desired experience or outcome is and what the product experience is today and what it can be tomorrow? Now, what's unique about the partnership with Success Hacker is that now CSMs, in the place where they're writing their notes and the insights that they generate with their customers, they can now build and export the success plan canvas at the same time. This gives them a tool now to operationalize a proven process at scale that could be scaling their team or scaling information sharing across the business. And these insights or these snapshots now in the success plan canvas is now moved out of what traditionally becomes a stale PowerPoint or PDF and becomes a living document that's collaborative, it's accessible by the customer, and it's accessible by the rest of the organization as well. So what I'm going to do now is show you how that works today. So here we're in, this is the interface in Hugo today. What we've got on the left-hand side are the meetings that have been brought in from the CSM's calendar. <clears throat> and we've got a kickoff call with Bigco that's been selected. And the CSM is going to write notes over here on the right-hand side. Hugo's detected that there's a Zoom call, so we're going to start that call. Join the call directly from Hugo and switch back to start writing notes while talking to the customer. Now, typically what happens here is a canvas would be used that's being built by either the individual CS, CSM or at the team level, they've got a bunch of custom templates. With the integration of Success Hacker, we're going to go with the success plan canvas. So here is a normal note-taking experience that our CSMs are very, uh, very used to, except the success plan canvas has been embedded as structured fields, giving them the flexibility to capture internal information that may not be shared with the customer necessarily, it may just be for the company, while also populating that success plan canvas together with the customer. Technology is hard. OK, so what's going to happen behind me is now our CSM, as they're talking to their customer, they're going to be capturing the insights that are being generated, taking both you know, internal notes, as I said, while also filling out that plan. What's also happening is it looks like a bug has been raised by that customer. That's going to be turned into a Trello card, assigned to someone on the engineering team so that they can handle it without the rep necessarily having to, to chase them after that call. Now, the next most important thing is who needs to know about this. So we're going to choose a Slack channel that this should be posted to and post that note into a channel where the rest of the team can have it shared with them without having to switch apps. They can see the insights that were generated as well as that snapshot success plan canvas. And the note's been published. Now what you'll notice, as the note has been moved into the team archive, we have the ability to export 
that success plan canvas, those structured fields into something that is now consumable and collaborative with the customer. What we have here is now a shared artifact between the customer and the rest of the business. It's something that everyone can access. It can move from interaction to interaction. It's dynamic and can be updated over time. And it's collaborative so that every time there's a call, everyone looks at that single source of truth and is able to understand where are we at and what do we need to do next. So very quickly, the last few seconds, Linking this back to what Aaron spoke about at the beginning around the pain points that the success plan canvas solves and the pain points that still exist around taking an offline process and scaling that with a large team is you have something that's been embedded into a tool so that it saves time for the whole team. You have a repeatable process as you grow, with your, you grow your CSMs and as they grow the number of accounts they're managing. You get seamless cross-team coordination, so it's very easy to push the right information to the right people in your company. And most importantly, your customer gets an extremely unique experience where they are very well understood, they have a place that they can go to to see that information, and it's something that can update over time. It's no longer something that gets ignored and sits in an inbox never to be seen again. So we always believe that every presentation should end with a Top Gun quote. <laughs> with the integration of the success plan canvas into the Hugo software, every single one of your customers now gets a navigator. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Nice work. Thanks, guys.